Social injustice is happening all over the world. Sometimes you feel powerless to what's going on on the other side of the world. But I'm here to talk to you about the lack of courtesy that I've seen more than once. Just this past month, I was waiting in a long line of commuter passengers for a bus from Linwood to Seattle. And when the bus pulled up in front, the passengers started loading, and I knew it was going to be a packed bus. So when I made it to as far back as the door, I was relieved to place my bags down, turn and face forward while passengers continued to load. An elderly couple came to the back of the bus, and a woman seated on the sideways facing seat by the door stood up and allowed them to have her seat as well as the seat that was free beside her, and she stood. I thought, wow, how kind of her to stand up for the elderly couple. And I know they appeared to be relieved they could sit down. There was a huge mountain of a man making his way towards the back of the bus. He ended up standing directly beside me. It was then that I saw a very slow moving elderly woman moving towards the back. She had made it as far back as the door and I was surprised because nobody had offered, them, offered her their seat. I turned to the sideways facing seat and there was a young man seated. I said, excuse me, would you mind standing and allowing this elderly woman to have your seat? He looked up and said, why are you asking me? To which I responded, because you're closest to me. He turned away and didn't budge. I turned towards the back of the bus and one step up and to the left on the aisle was a man with a bicycle helmet. And I thought, wow, here's my chance. Excuse me, you look fairly fit. Would you mind standing and allowing this elderly woman to have your seat? Sure, he said, and he stood up as the elderly woman took the seat and thanked me. I said, you're welcome. I then thanked the cyclist for standing, made my way back to where my bags were, and faced forward as the bus left the transit center. I was relieved that the mountain of a man was right beside me because then the young man's piercing eyes wouldn't be on me all the way into Seattle. I was very happy that the elderly woman had a seat to sit. But I was also sad because I actually had to say something. But you know, I think if more people had the courage to speak up and take action, I think the world would be a better place. It's the small action that can amount to large impact. So next time you witness something such as this, speak up and take action.